Now the country's public defender is adding her two cents to the controversial debate over the proposed prisoner transfer agreement with Britain. Public defender Arlene Harrison-Henry agrees that the country needs a new penal institution. She concedes that the two principal facilities for male offenders, the St. Catherine Adult and the Tower Street Correctional Centers, fall below standards prescribed by the Charter of Fundamental Rights and International Minimum Standards. In an article in Monday's Galena, Mrs. Harrison Henry wrote a commentary entitled Free Inmates from Dungeons of Torture. In her column, she notes that, quote, It's no secret that we continue to violate the right to all persons to be free from torture and cruel, inhumane and degrading punishment, end quote. She stresses that both facilities now house twice the number of inmates they were designed to. The public defender reasons that prison transfers aren't a new phenomenon. She argues that the practice is conducted around the world under well-structured bilateral arrangements. However, she cautions that if the government is accepting Britain's offer, the protocol must be implemented by Jamaican law. And Mrs. Harrison Henry wants strict regulations to govern the transfer. She says a prisoner must be selected on the basis of being a Jamaican national. The public defender adds that the transferee should not be disadvantaged in his sentence as a result of the transfer. She also urged the government to ensure that Jamaicans will not be asked to foot the bill to integrate and maintain the prisoners in local correctional facilities.